okay hello uh, today we are going to discuss regarding your project phase 1 so the course code is csd415 as you know this comes under the category pws that means the project work and seminar so the lecture hour is 0 you having no tutorial but you having a practical hours of 6 and the credit is 2 so the main aim of this project work is to evoke your innovation and invention skills so whatever things you have learned till your 6th semester you can make use here in your 7th semester for your project phase 1 so the project actually span for two semesters in semester 7 you are having project phase 1 and on semester 8 you are having the project phase 2 so one third of the work you have to finish by your 7th semester that is during your project phase 1 and the rest two third by the 8th semester that is on your project phase 2 you can choose any projects from your thrust area that means if you're doing or a bachelor's in computer science and engineering you can choose a project from your computer science domain itself right so whichever is your thrust area you can choose it no issues if you have if you are a mechanical student you can choose it from the mechanical domain right then now it's an era of transfer learning you can even choose interdisciplinary projects but the focus should be on you have to address the societal problems and you have to develop indigenous technologies and solutions for that right now for project phase 1 we are having 100 marks so out of this 100 marks 30 marks it's given by your guide then there are 70 marks by an evaluation panel so this evaluation panel that consists of the head of the department the project coordinator senior faculty or your project guide right so 30 mark is exclusively given by the guide in that 30 mark the guide is evaluating your individual performance your punctuality how well you are maintaining your uh, project diary then how you com- complete with the team work then how well you met the schedules you give the deliverables so everything is individually as well as group wise is evaluated by the guide and the 30 marks is given by the guide right then we are having interim evaluation one that's for 20 marks that's again given by the panel right then we are having a final evaluation it's for 30 marks so now 30 plus 20 50 right then 20 marks for your project phase 1 report so the total should be 100 so 50 percentage mark is required for a pass right so the most important and the crucial thing in this evaluation process is that that technological universe that means the kerala technological university apj abdul kalam kerala technological university has given well defined rubrics for everything so for interim evaluation what are things are required how we how we are going to evaluate the students how we are going to put mark for example topic identifications we are having marks for the selection of the projects we are having marks how will you have formulate the objectives again we are having some marks then the planning of the projects the scheduling of your resources the your individual contribution your group contributions so everything is evaluated individually some of the parameters we are evaluating individually and some other parameters we are evaluating in a group manner right so we have well defined rubrics for that that's again given by the university so the grading is actually based on we having an outstanding the best thing outstanding then we are having very good then we are having fair as well as poor for example if for outstanding if the marks is 10 then very good that range from 7 to 9 fair 4 to 6 and poor means 0 to 3 so we are having a range of marks for that so each and every criteria in this interim evaluation is having a clear cut split up the students itself will know how they are going to be evaluated so they can plan it well because this graduates projects is again very important right then you can even choose what to say a funding agency during your project phase one itself you can plan for some external funding agencies so getting some fund from an external agency is again something good during the bachelor's level so if you get some fund from outside that is a, that will add more colors to your project right then 
the most crucial thing regarding the project is how well you have chosen the project if it is having some relevance or it is contributing something to the society good then you are making use of the latest technology for doing that projects that's again good any projects you have selected a thorough literature plan is required right so you have to understand or you have to do the background study well so this literature review is again an art you have to first choose your project then you have to narrow down you have to identify which one is your domain for example if you are a computer science student right and if you are going with an image processing project then you narrow down the topic to for example you take 3d face recognition or 2d face recognition right then you have to search literature from that that is if you choose a project from two dimensional face recognition or if you choose a project related to 3d face recognition then you have to look for literature from that 3d face recognition you have to identify some core purpose for that it's better you have to look for some index journal for example it should be either an SEI, SEIE or Scopus or even you can go for UGC care, no issue. You have to choose a good journal or you can even look for some materials or some articles or some other uh, papers that is published in some conferences or from some uh, good universities. They have published some work, some articles is there so you can go through that. So it's better you have to identify the paper, the base paper that is the paper that is very close to what you are going to do right then you have to identify some of the papers that is uh, uh, closely related to that you need to understand the background well for that if you take a, let's take an example if you take a project on 3d phase recognition so you take 10 papers for literature initially you take 10 papers for literature right so in that you take the most relevant papers right depends upon the year for example what are the latest uh, technologies or innovation that is happening in 3D face recognition currently in 2022 or in 2023. Then there are some papers that we definitely need to read. Okay, so that sort of papers you have to identify. So you take the base paper, you take some of the correlating papers so that you have to narrow down your domain so that the literature study or the literature review become much more easy. So you have to do a literature study or a literature review thorough well. Nowadays we are having a lot of tools for doing systematic literature survey. So you do that literature thoroughly. Then after that you proceed with the project. So while we are do, going with the project, definitely you should have good communication with your guide. Right? You have to communicate properly with your teammates. Then only you can do that project in a good manner. Okay. So in phase one, we know that the target is literature study you have to do, the survey of the published literature, then you have to formulate the objectives, then you have to frame the hypothesis design or methodology, then you have to plan your work plan, your task allocation, that's again important in phase one, then the block level uh, design documentation, again that's important. Then even you can look for some funds from outside agencies or various agencies are providing funds. You look for some uh, funds. Then some primary analysis or modeling or simulations. or These are all things that is required in project phase one. And in a nutshell or at the end, definitely you have to prepare phase one report. So these are all the deliverables or the target you have to focus on phase one. Right. So regarding phase two, we will continue. So uh, that's all from me in this uh, first video. Then the remaining how to do literature review and what are the other tools available for literature review. It should be given in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.